Iterations provide a regular, predictable cadence for teams to produce an increase of value, as well as to refine those previously developed. To help you plan cadences, GitLab has two constructs, iterations and milestones. Here, the organization Awesome Co. has an eight-week release cycle, for which a milestone has been created. Milestones are flexible and can have timed dates, start dates, end dates, or none of the above. In Awesome Co., they can use milestones to manage releases. There are three releases for each eight-week cycle. When you look at the detailed view, you'll see burndown charts, burn up charts, and start and end dates if you've set any. You can also filter these charts by issue counts and issue weight. Below the charts, you can see all issues associated with the milestone or release. You can also see the status of each issue, be it started, ongoing, or completed. Each milestone has time tracking, reporting, and progress completion rates. For teams that use two-week cycles, GitLab has something called iterations. An issue can belong to both a milestone and an iteration at the same time. GitLab also has something called iteration cadences. An iteration cadence is a collection of iterations. You can create an iteration and give it a title. You can also denote that you want the iteration to automatically schedule upcoming iterations. You can pick the start date of your first iteration and choose how long in weeks each iteration should be. Choose if you want issues to roll over automatically and set the number of future iterations you want GitLab to maintain. If you finish your first iteration, GitLab will automatically create the fifth iteration. This takes away the headache of moving issues from one iteration to the next, creating new iterations and ending iterations. Now, the process is painless. If you have multiple teams sharing one group, you can create multiple different cadences that each run on their own schedule. Let's say these squads run every two weeks, but squad B needs to have three-week iterations. This is possible with iteration cadences. Each iteration can be assigned to its own work items and each has its own progress reporting. This dual time box system allows you to do higher level release planning. It also allows teams to take what has been scheduled for release and break it down into even smaller time boxes or iterations.